Okay, so the purpose for um, this particular problem is to create the um, uh, calculate the monthly premiums. So you, your email must have said you used a formula multiplying um, the total here in B10 times the monthly premium here in B14. Um, if you actually read one step one dash C in the textbook on page 71 it says create a formula in cell C5 which is right here uh, that calculates the monthly insurance premium for the accounting department so it doesn't say for the total it says the accounting department so this is the accounting department and that's why we're calculating the formula here in C5 and then we're going to copy this formula down to the rest of the range to get the monthly premium for the other departments legal marketing sales trip advisors and um, then we can also do for total so that's why we're in c5 okay now um, the reason you're getting zeros is related to a different problem so i'm going to show you how to create this formula first the wrong way so you can see the zeros and then we'll um, create it the right way. Um, also, if you look at the instructions in uh, step 1c, there's a hint that says make sure you use the correct type of cell reference in the formula. So that hint is meaning that you need to decide if this is relative reference formula or absolute reference formula. And the key is if you have a formula where multiple cells are going to multiply or are going to calculate off of the same cell then it's going to be absolute and in this case each of your employees here need to figure out the monthly premium based on one cell in B14 so that's our clue that it's going to be absolute okay so here we go the wrong way equals B10 times B14 and I'm going to hit enter and there's my insurance premium amount for the 10 employees for accounting. Now when I grab the fill handle and drag this down there's my zeros because what happened is let me show the formulas you can see the, B, the B5 changed to B6 which is fine because here's B6 the B7 changed to B7, which is fine. The B8 to B8, the B9 to B9, the B10 to B10. That's perfect. But the problem is the B14, which is right here, for the legal, it changed to B15, which is blank. And then we go down to B16, which is blank. B17 is blank, and so forth. So that's why we got the zeros. And again, that's why it's the wrong way. So I'm going to undo and undo, and now we're going to do it the right way. So equals, I'm going to click in B5 here, and do multiply, and then I'm going to click in B14 again. But this time, we need to turn the B14 into an absolute reference. So when we copy it down to the rest of these cells, the B14 stays B14 and doesn't change to B15, B16, etc. And to do that, I can either type a dollar sign in front of the B here and type another dollar sign in front of the 14 or whoops that's my dollar sign there we go or I can use a shortcut which is just tapping the F4 key on my keyboard and I get the same dollar signs okay now I'm going to hit enter click back up to C5, grab its fill handle, and now when I come down, here are the correct amounts. And again, if I show our formulas, you can see that now when we copied this formula, this B14 cell stayed the same and remained at B14 because we turned it into absolute reference. So that's how to set up um, this particular formula correctly. I hope that helps.